this burnt up car, a mute witness to a tragedy. This is for the record. Nita and four of my grandchildren are burnt and shot up. Right on the road out of La Mora. Three women and six children from the Lebaron family, Mormons originally from the US who'd settled in Mexico decades ago, were shot dead on a motorway in northern Mexico. This was one of them, relatives said. Trevor, aged 11. Also dead, twins, six months old. The survivors, a baby found by the side of his dead mother, and children who fled into the mountains, Alex Lebaron, a relative, told us. Including one of the girls, Mackenzie, she was shot twice. Uh, she was in such trauma that she started walking on her own across the mountain, and uh, she was found two, three hours later, just uh, walking senselessly in, in any direction. She didn't even know where she was. The Lebarons are well known in Mexico for the anti-violence activism of some of their members. Because they're US citizens, that meant President Donald Trump got involved. He tweeted that it was time to wage war on the cartels. President López Obrador, while he welcomed US cooperation, rejected that. The worst that could happen is war. Those who have read about it or suffered it know that. Past experience says that President López Obrador is probably right. More than a decade ago, Mexico started an all-out confrontation with the cartels, and all that happened were more murders. But he's in a tight spot now. About three weeks ago, his security minister said that his government was getting on top of the violence. But since then, it's been hit by crisis after crisis. First of all, 14 policemen ambushed and killed in the western state of Michoacán. Then, an alleged cartel leader caught and let go in Culiacán while the city burned. And now this. And although this case has attracted more publicity, it's not an outlier. Yeah, it is unfortunately um, part of sort of the mutation of uh, criminal warfare and of Mexican organized crime that we've seen over the past years is that uh, family members, uh, children, women, uh, innocent bystanders in general, um, regular civilians are not off limits anymore for this kind of violence. Neither the police nor President López Obrador's new National Guard seem to have been enough to set those boundaries. And there's a continuing cost. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.